Hello from Chernivtsi and welcome to this beautiful city. Today I'm going to dis explore Chernivtsi. So let's travel with me. Arriving to the railway station, you can go to the city center on foot. Chernivtsi is a city in western Ukraine located just 40 kilometers from Romanian border. First thing you notice in this city is its tiny streets narrow tiny streets and that you have to constantly go up and down so no hills here Changing currency in Chernivtsi is not an issue like everywhere else in Ukraine. You can change your money in such small exchange points like here. Number one why you should come to Chernivtsi is because of its architecture. If you enjoy it, you should definitely visit. Chernivtsi has a very interesting history being multicultural, multinational city accommodating many cultures. In front of us we can see the theater of Chernivtsi and the main square of its city. And here these two buildings from the left is the Jewish house and the former premises of Romanian administration. On the main square in front of the theater you can see the local alley of fame with the stars of local artists. And now we can see in front of us the premise for the regional state administration and regional council. The story of these twin houses is very interesting. 
The history says that there were twin sisters living in Chernivtsi. When one of them got married, the other one got very sad that she has to separate with her sister. So the husband built the same very house very close to the first sister so that they could communicate with each other freely and easily. And this premise that you see in front of you is the regional art museum now and it used to be in the past the treasury house. You can see here the bees which would symbolize the wealth uh, and money. Walking along the city center, pay attention to the houses and look up to the balconies because in some of the houses you may see these signs, which means that this house was a brothel. And now we slowly approach to the house which has a very interesting history. Now it is the cinema, but in the past this premise used to be a synagogue which was ruined four times, four or five times, but the walls could not be totally ruined, so they decided to rebuild this house into the cinema. Walking along narrow streets of Chernivtsi, you may find yourself in the yard of the former rabbi of the city and his former house, which is now a simple living premise. This yellow building in front of you is the Philharmonic Theatre, which welcomes concerts of classical music in Chernivtsi. And on the little square in front of it, you can find yourself among Sakura Square. Beside Sakura Blossoms, you can find a monument to Ferenc Liszt, famous Hungarian composer, who was performing live concerts in Chernivtsi at the Philharmonic Theatre at his time. When you are walking the streets of Chernivtsi, pay attention to the details because you may miss something beautiful like this solar clock, for example. Or this building looking like a ship. The story says that there were two brothers, one of them went to the sea to become a sailor, the other one had a successful business in Chernivtsi. When the sailor brother came back to Chernivtsi, he was very sad that he cannot sail anymore. So the other brother who had a business constructed a house for him where he would feel like a captain and he would have a house looking like a ship. As Chernivtsi located on the seven hills just like Rome, you can see the city like on your palm and have beautiful views around it. For example, this square uh, has some Turkish architecture in it. This is not just a bookstore, this is an art place. 
the owner of this bookstore is the living legend of the city and a lot of artists come to this bookstore to buy a book and to have the readings in the store. We finally approached to the main square of Chernivtsi, main street of Chernivtsi, and they say that in the past you wouldn't be allowed to walk on the street with your dirty shoes or bad dressed and the cleaners would wash the street with soap first and then swipe it with roses so that the street was very beautiful and had a beautiful smell too. I walked inside one of the houses on the main street so that you can see the architecture which is inside and the ornaments. And welcome to the territory of Ukrainian Hogwarts, the Chernivtsi National University, which is right behind me. And let's take a short tour around this fabulous, amazing university, which is UNESCO Heritage. The university in the past was the residence of the Metropolitans. Chernivtsi was always multicultural and multinational city with a lot of languages, a lot of cultures mixed together, which brings the beautiful authenticity to the city itself. Chernivtsi dates back with its history to 15th century and it was ruled by Austro-Hungary, by Romania, later by Soviet Union and now it is a part of Ukraine. Locals remember part uh, during Austro-Hungarian ruling as one of the most prosperous time in the history of the city since most of the buildings were built during their ruling. Here on the territory of Chernivtsi University you can find an amazing park so most recommended time of the visit is late spring, uh, summer and autumn.
If you like my video, if you like my channel, please subscribe and this will show how much you support it. Thank you.